there are different ways to get to the spine for different reasons. And each way has its advantages and disadvantages. Uh, we talk about having an open procedure versus minimally invasive. In this, I want to talk about going in from the anterior uh, approach to the lumbar spine and comparing that to going in through the back or a posterior approach to the lumbar spine. First of all, the anterior approach. We typically will go in anteriorly down lower in the lumbar spine, um, especially at L5-S1. We have full access to the disc space when we do that. We can directly visualize the front part of the spine called the anterior column. We can put in big graphs with lots of surface area for fusion and we get a high fusion rate. Disadvantages of going in through the front, we have a couple of uh, unique complications that would never or rarely if ever occur from the back. One is a vascular injury because we're dealing with the big vessels in front of the spine, the iliac veins and arteries. We rarely could get a ureteral injury. We've never had that happen before, but it is possible. And then a, a small percentage of men will end up having retrograde ejaculation. Posterior inner body fusion and going in through the back. This is more commonly done. We have direct nerve decompression. We can see the nerves. We can directly address things that are pinching them. We can reduce the spondylolisthesis more easily. So a spondylolisthesis is when the spine is slipped forward. When we go in the back, we can pull it back into alignment more easily than we can when we go in from the front. It doesn't require an access surgeon. When we go in through the front, we need to have a general surgeon or a vascular surgeon help us. So it's a little bit harder to schedule. This is a shorter time in my hands. This surgery typically minimally invasive posterior lumbar fusion is maybe an hour and 15 minutes. This is a little bit longer. Um, and the, the hospital stay is a little bit shorter on average. There's a higher rate of wound infection going in through, through the back. There may be more bleeding and specifically a, a small amount of bleeding near the nerves because we've exposed the nerves. Uh, and sometimes that requires another operation. We have a higher rate of nerve damage and CSF leak, because again, we're dealing directly with those nerves. Um, recurrence of symptoms can occur because of scarring around the nerves. And then we have a higher rate of non-union or failure of fusion when we go in the back compared to the front. Each patient's situation is individualized. We make recommendations based on this understanding uh, on what we think would be best for the individual patient.